God. It's a revolutionary breakthrough in humans' fight against disease. A California-based company unveiling a new machine that will allow people to map their entire genetic makeup in two hours for only a thousand bucks. This is such a huge advancement. And joining us in a first on Fox Business interview is the man who created the device, Jonathan Rothberg, founder and CEO of Ion Torrent. It is great to have you. Congratulations. We need a drum roll, by the way. We Can do. And you know what? We, we are going to actually unveil it. And here it is. Oh, thank you. That is incredible. So tell us what it is and how it works. All of us have gone to the doctor's office and had an MRI or a CAT scan. Now you'll be able to go to your doctor's office and have your genome read. And your genome determines everything from conception to death, how you respond to medicines, what diseases you'll get, uh, uh, okay. everything about you. Every single thing about you. Absolutely. So this, this has huge healthcare ramifications, does it not? Correct. Now, the, the extraordinary thing about this machine, it's been done before, but at a much higher price and it, with, in a much more complex, much slower machine. The process took a lot longer, took days rather than a couple of hours. Excuse me one second. We're going to come right back to you, but we do have some breaking news on Yahoo. Uh, Adam, go ahead. That's right. Yahoo's announced the resignation of CEO Jerry Yang. He's going to be replaced by Scott Thompson, who's been appointed CEO. Yang resigned not only from the boards of Yahoo Japan Corporation, but also Alibaba Group. But effective today, Jerry Yang out at Yahoo. David? Very big news. Very big news. Thank you very much. But Thank we you. want to get back to Jonathan right away. So how did you make it cheaper and faster? And what's to say that... Next year, we may not find something even faster and cheaper than this. To make it cheaper and faster and make it part of health care, we took the technology that enabled your phone or your computer, semiconductors, and we made for the first time a chip that instead of seeing light, like you take a picture, sees chemistry. So now we can go right from your DNA to digital information. That first genome actually took 10 years and cost $3 billion. Now you can go into a major medical center, have your genome sequenced, and that day get information back okay. on how your disease is progressing or how you'll respond to a medicine. Okay, that is the issue. We can almost in a way see into the future, can we not? Is that overstating what we can find from this machine? Right now we can see a little bit into the future, but as more and more scientists use this machine, mm -hmm. they'll gather information between your DNA and different people's outcome. So over the next few years, it becomes more and more powerful every time somebody sequences. Now, beyond the individual, this has significance for communities as well. You can tell by a community by exactly how one particular gene group uh, is likely to behave or likely uh, if, if you have a vaccine or something like that, right? Uh, absolutely. Our machines have been used for everything from outbreaks, like the outbreak last summer, of the E. coli was decoded on an early one of these machines uh, to water quality. So you can heal the world, you can fuel the world, and you can feed the world because everything is based on DNA. Okay. Can this reduce the soaring costs of health care, which are breaking our bank here in the United States? Absolutely. The beautiful thing about investing in technology is it is the only thing that can change the cost of health care. When my son was born, he was rushed to the newborn intensive care, not breathing. That's why I developed this technology, because I wanted to know what was going on with my son. I wanted to know his genome. And Can you just open it up, by the way, just to show us exactly how it works? And so now when somebody's child is born and they have an issue, you can put their DNA on this chip. So wait, blood? I don't know. Do you, you can take blood. You can take saliva. You can okay. take biopsy. Okay. You put that put it on, on one the of chip. these chips. You put the chip in the machine. Uh -huh. You close it. Uh -huh and you press go, and then that information is in a, in a computer or on the internet. How much did this cost to, to develop, make, and Life Sciences is your parent company, of course. Yes. Are they going to mass market this to the hospitals around the nation? Uh, Life Science, te Life Technology. Yeah, Life just, Technology, rather. Just introduced the machine. It's available worldwide now and uh, for orders, and they'll be shipping it uh, around the world first half. And like I said, it can help people in medicine, it can help people develop biofuels, it can help people in agriculture. Is, Is this a machine that could likely save millions of lives? It will save lives, of course, first and foremost, and also those health care dollars. Because my son ran up a $45,000 bill in that newborn intensive care. But then and if we had known what was happening, doctors can... Okay. Act on. So insurance companies, the people worry, are they going to use it for their benefit and then reject people seeing what's in your genome sequence? Right now, insurance companies are very supportive because if you 
uh, have a cancer, 50% of the time you might be okay, 50% of the time you might need medicine. Now we can put the dollars on the people that need the medicine and let the other person go home to their family. And if I wanted to buy one, how much? $149,000. <laughs> a steal. A steal. $1,000 a genome. Jonathan, great work. Fantastic work. Thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you very Jonathan much. Jonathan Rothberg of Ion Torrent. Thank we, you. we have more information on this break.